One of the most important aspects of a healthy roofing system is proper ventilation, which is achieved by having a balance of intake and exhaust. An Owens Corning Balanced Air Ventilation System offers highly efficient and affordable solutions for properly ventilating your home. Using an Owens Corning ventilation system can help eliminate heat and moisture buildup in the attic that can lead to more serious problems such as ice damming, mold, mildew, and premature roof deterioration. Owens Corning has always offered a wide variety of exhaust ventilation products, and we now offer a solution to the common problem of inadequate intake ventilation with a VentSure inflow vent. In the upcoming training video, we'll focus on installing the VentSure inflow vent for both eave and mid-roof applications. By offering two installation options, this product can provide effective intake ventilation for a variety of roof styles. Before we begin, let's take a minute to talk a little more about the importance of a balanced ventilation system. In a balanced system, the amount of air exhausted out of the upper portion of the roof is matched by an equal amount of air being drawn in from the lower areas of the roof. The air drawn in intake will naturally flow upward toward the exhaust vents, pushing out the warmer, moist air in the attic. It's these air changes that help achieve desirable attic conditions. If the ventilation system isn't balanced, airflow won't be consistent, increasing the likelihood for heat and moisture to build up in the attic. Note that if a balanced system can't be achieved, always ensure there is more intake ventilation than exhaust and strive not to exceed 60% intake. The VentSure Inflow Vent is a versatile product easily installed at the eave or up the roof slope typically without ever having to enter the attic. It's also designed for use in both new construction and re-roof applications. The inflow vent is uniquely designed to draw in air from the bottom of the vent rather than from the front face, minimizing the chance for water or debris to enter the attic or clog up the vent openings. The product provides 10 square inches of intake ventilation per linear foot and comes in four foot sections with nails provided with each vent. Inflow is backed by a 20 year limited warranty and is an integral component of the Owens Corning Balanced Ventilation System. Before installing this product, check local roofing and ventilation building codes. These are the basic requirement for roofs to be ventilated with the inflow vent. These are the tools and additional supplies that you'll need. We'll go over the use of each of these during the installation instructions. Safety should always be your top priority. Personal protective equipment or PPE should include a minimum of safety glasses, gloves and hearing protection for when using the circular saw. Your company may have additional safety or clothing requirements. Fall protection should always be in use when working on a roof. For our demonstration, we'll be using a roof mock-up at the Owens Corning Science and Technology Center. In this chapter, we'll cover instructions to be used when installing the inflow vent at the eave of a roof. The process involves four steps. Installing a layer of underlayment, locating and cutting the vent opening in the roof, installing the vent, and installing the remaining underlayment and shingles. First, we'll need to locate and cut the vent slot. Begin by nailing a drip edge along the entire length of the eave according to local code requirements. Measure up six and a half inches from the drip edge and make a mark. Make a second mark one and a half inches above the first. Finally, mark the roof six inches in from each gable end wall to identify the ends of the vent slot opening. Now snap a chalk line down the length of the roof on the marks you just made. Using a circular saw with a depth set to the thickness of the roof deck, cut and remove all materials from the vent slot opening. Look inside the slot to be certain that any attic insulation is at least one inch below the surface of the roof deck to assure proper ventilation. 
Install a minimum 18 inch wide piece of underlayment starting at the eave edge. This will cover the slot opening and protect the roof deck below the vent. Identify the location of the slot opening beneath the underlayment and cut out the slot using a sharp utility knife. Now we're ready to install the first section of inflow vent. There's an alignment notch near the air intake on each unit. Position the first vent flush with the rake edge with the alignment notch even with the eave edge. This will ensure the vent overhangs the eave edge by one inch, allowing air intake through the bottom of the inflow vent. Using the nails provided, hand nail the inflow vent in place using the built-in nail holes. Continue installing vents flush with each other from rake edge to rake edge. When installing the final vent, cut away the non-rake edge of the vent if necessary to ensure a factory finished edge is flush with the rake edge. If you're installing a section at the intersection of a roof valley, a handy tip is to place a section on the roof in the position as shown. Then measure the distance from the top edge to the roof valley. Mark that distance on the bottom of the vent and draw a line to the top outside edge. Cut away the marked section. Repeat the process on the adjoining vent and you'll have a perfectly aligned joint. Once all the inflow vents have been installed, place an underlayment or weather lock, ice and water barrier over all vents at the eave and at the rake edges per local code requirements. Make certain the bottom of the underlayment is flush with the lip at the lower edge of the vent. You should completely cover the top openings as air intake occurs through the bottom of the vent with an eave installation. Finish installing an approved underlayment over the entire roof per the shingle manufacturer's instructions. With the underlayment in place, install rake edge metal over the entire rake, including the inflow vent. Rake edge metal with a one and a quarter inch minimum vertical leg will completely conceal the factory finished edge of the inflow vent. Hand nail the starter and first course of shingles on top of the vent using the three inch nails that are provided. Be sure that all nails fully penetrate the wood deck and don't drive nails within the vent slot opening. You can now continue to install the shingle system. Once beyond the inflow vent, a nail gun and standard roofing nails can be used to install shingle courses according to the shingle manufacturer's specification. This completes the installation of the inflow vent in an eave application. In some cases, eave installation is not possible and you will need to place the vent further up the roof. We'll cover that process in the next chapter. In some cases, an eave installation of the inflow vent is not possible or will not allow proper ventilation into the attic space. In that case, you'll be making a mid-roof installation. And in this chapter, we'll discuss instructions when installing the inflow vent under these circumstances. The process involves four steps. Installing the initial courses of shingles and underlayment. Cutting the vent slot opening. Installing the vent and installing the remaining underlayment and shingles. Begin by nailing a drip edge along the entire length of the eave according to local code requirements. Because of building code requirements, we will show the mid-roof inflow being installed using metal drip edge at the rake edge. When installing underlayment, install it over the entire roof slope. Now install the drip edge metal along the rake edge. The metal edging should extend to a point approximately 24 inches past the second course of the underlayment. This should put the metal drip edge well beyond the inflow vent when it's installed. Once the inflow vent has been installed, you can now finish installing the metal rake edge over the inflow vent and the remainder of the underlayment. We need to install the initial course of shingles. Starting at the eave's edge, install shingles per the manufacturer's instructions until you have installed a full row of shingles that is at least one course beyond the home's exterior wall and stump. The next course of shingles will not be nailed to the nail line. Only this course will be face nailed four and a half inches up from the lower edge of the shingles. 
This row of exposed nails will be covered by the inflow vent. When nailing four and a half inches up from the lower edge of the shingles, evenly space the nails until this course of shingles is fully installed. An additional row of four nails per shingle should be installed on this course, one inch below the top of each shingle on this row. These nails will keep the head of the shingles from sliding down when the ventilation slot is cut. Make a mark five inches above the lower edge of the last course of shingles installed, and a second mark one and a half inches above this line. Also make a mark six inches in from the gable end wall at each rake edge to identify the ends of the vent slot opening. Now chalk a line connecting the markings for the vent slot opening. Using a circular saw with a depth set to the thickness of the roof deck, cut and remove all materials from the vent slot opening. Look inside the slot to be certain that any attic insulation is at least one inch below the surface of the roof deck to assure proper ventilation. Position the first inflow vent flush with the rake edge, positioning it so the alignment notch is even with the lower edge of the last shingle course installed. Using the nails provided, hand nail the inflow vent in place using the built-in nail holes. Continue installing vents flush with each other from rake edge to rake edge. When installing the final vent, cut away the non-rake edge of the vent if necessary to ensure a factory finished edge is flush with the rake edge. Once all the inflow vent sections are nailed in place, install underlayment and hand nail starter shingles plus one course of roofing shingles on top of the vent using the three inch nails provided. Be sure that the nails fully penetrate the wood deck and don't drive the nails within the vent slot opening. It's important to be certain not to cover the inflow vent's top intake openings as this will allow air intake through the top of the vent. You can now continue to install the roofing system. Once beyond the inflow vent, a nail gun and standard roofing nails can be used to install shingle courses according to the shingle manufacturer's specification. The VentSure inflow vent is part of a balanced air ventilation system from Owens Corning. When properly installed, this system will help protect your customer's roofing investment provide a natural ventilation of the attic space and help enhance your reputation as a knowledgeable roofing professional.